our God from beginning till the end. That's no room for argument. Oh, you are God by yourself. Oh, you are God from beginning till the end. There's no room for argument. Oh, you are God by yourself. Oh, Daddy, you are God from beginning till the end. Oh, there's no room for argument. Oh, you are God by yourself. Oh, that is why you are called Jehovah. That is why you are called Jehovah. As a more, what you say you will do, that is what you will do. That is why you are called Jehovah. Oh, ne 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 mao. That is why you are called Jehovah. That is why you are called Jehovah. As the more what you say you will do. That is what you will do. Oh, that is why you are called Jehovah. That is why you are called God. That is why death could not hold you captive. Even in the grave, Jesus is God. Father, we thank you for an hour like this. Thank you for your grace upon our lives. Thank you for not giving up on us. Thank you for our friends and families. Thank you for your abundant love, O oh Lord. Father, we worship you. We say, hallowed be your name. King of kings and Lord of lords. I call you beautiful God. I call you Alpha and Omega. Father, you are our molder, our milker. Father, we say thank you, Jesus for another opportunity. Thank you for bringing us into a new day. Thank you for giving us opportunity to make amend of our life. We say thank you, O Lord. You deserve all praises. You deserve all our honors in the mighty name of Jesus. My brothers and my sisters, I welcome you today into today's worship. I want us to reflect and I want us to read from this verse. John 11 is about the power of the resurrection. Yeah, this Easter has gone. We will continue to remind ourselves the power of resurrection. The power we, the children of God, carry. God has given us power. We have to remind ourselves of that, the power God has given unto us. The power of resurrection. In the book of John, 11 from verse 25 jesus said to her i am the resurrection and the life those who believe in me will live even though they die and all those who believe who live and believe in me will never die so in this verse god is telling us to believe to believe we have to build our faith in god we have to build our trust believe me when you have that faith let that faith continue to carry you along that even in time of trouble you will remind yourself that it's gonna be over it's gonna be over it's gonna it's not going to last remind ourselves sometimes we need this type of things we need this type of word to encourage ourselves that God is with us, that he has made everything possible for us. He has conquered the death. Even when we are sick, yeah. let us remind ourselves that by his tribe, we are healed. So I want to encourage somebody out there. Anything that is dead in your life, is it your joy? Is it the peace that God has given unto us? Is it the peace in your family that seems to be dead? I want you to remind, I want to remind you this morning that God has the power to resurrect every dead thing in your life. 
Is it that your child that you want to give up on? I don't want you to give up on that child. Just believe God. Have faith in him that everything will be okay. Everything will be okay. We need this type of word every time to remind ourselves. Sometimes we are down. You know, when we feel down, we, re we forget everything. But I want us to remind ourselves today that with God, all things are possible. The power of resurrection will continue to speak for you and your family. The power of resurrection will make that thing that seems to be impossible in your life to be possible. For in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you today for joining into today's worship. Bless you and remain blessed and positive always. In Jesus name we pray. Amen.